India achieved what many believed was impossible, landing on the moon uncharted South Pole and becoming the fourth nation to touch surface. Chandrayaan, a monumental project by the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, marked a historic milestone in humanity's quest to uncover lunar secrets. The primary mission to study the terrain, search for frozen water, and assess the feasibility of human colonization. But what they found stunned the scientific community and left even Michio Kaku, renowned for his optimism, in a state of alarm. What began as a scientific exploration quickly turned into a discovery that redefined the known laws of physics and could alter our understanding of the universe forever. At first, everything seemed routine. The Pragin rover analyzed lunar regolith, confirming the presence of frozen water and minerals like magnesium and silicon. Discovery celebrated as breakthroughs for future missions, but then the unexpected occurred. Instruments detected a material unlike anything known to Earth or all celestial bodies. The substance exhibited properties that challenge our understanding of physics. It absorbs electromagnetic energy in ways that defy explanation, acting like a radiation sponge. Michio Kaku described the finding as terrifying. If the material is natural, it redefines how we understand the universe's formation. If it isn't, we must grapple with the unsettling idea that it was placed there by someone or something. The surprises didn't stop there. Sensor detected fluctuating heat signatures beneath the South Pole surface, an anomaly on geological dead body like the moon. Initially, scientists speculated these were remnants of ancient volcanic activity. However, this theory was diminished, as the moon has been dormant for billions of years. So, what could be generating this heat, and why does it seem to be responding to external stimuli? The heat pattern suggests the possibility of an active system, something designed to operate under specific conditions. But their relations didn't end there. Using advanced radar, the rover discovered a massive cavity beneath the surface. Inside, the data revealed metallic geometry structures arranged in deliberate patterns, impossible to attribute to natural geological processes. Experts agree. The arrangements of these structures point to intentional design, as though they were part of a deliberately constructed facility. The sheer dimensions of this cavity could accommodate a small city. This finding sparkled wild speculation. Are they remnants of an extraterrestrial civilization? Or could they be relics of an ancient human presence on the moon, lost to history? While investigating the mysterious underground structures, the Pragian rover detected an unusual magnetic field. This field, localized entirely within the vicinity of the structures, was far stronger than anything found elsewhere on the moon. On a celestial body with no global magnetic field, the discovery is baffling. Even more puzzling, the field seems to fluctuate in intensity, almost as if it's being manipulated or generated intentionally. Theories range from an ancient source power still operational beneath the surface to a natural phenomenon unknown to science. With no comparable magnetic features on the moon, the question remains what or who is creating this field? As if the magnetic field wasn't perplexing enough, the Chandrayaan mission also detected faint signals emanating from the underground structure. These signals, rhythmic and repeating, appear to contain patterns reminiscent of coded transmissions. Experts analyzed the signals, ruling out interference from Earth or other satellites. The pattern was too deliberate, leading to speculation that the structure beneath the moon might still be active or at least responsive to external triggers. Whether these signals are a message, an automated system, or something else entirely is still unknown. But their very existence suggests a level of sophistication that humanity has yet to encounter in its exploration of the cosmos. Digging deeper into the moon's history, scientists uncovered another enigma. The layers of regolith above the underground structure were inconsistent with the rest of the South Pole's terrain. These layers appear to have been deposited in a manner suggesting deliberate concealment. 
The density and composition of the layers above the structures imply that they were not formed by natural processes such as meteor impact or volcanic activity. Instead, it appears as though someone or something intentionally buried these structures long ago. This raises even more chilling questions. Why were they hidden? And what are their creators have been protecting or hiding from? The Chandrahan discoveries have reignited interest in the moon as a frontier for exploration and settlement. But these findings also present challenges, both technological and ethical. If the underground structures are artificial, they could represent a treasured trove of technology and knowledge. However, their unknown origin and purpose make them a potential risk. What happens if we disturb something that was meant to remain untouched? With NASA, ESA, and ISRO now considering joint missions to investigate further, the race to uncover the truth has begun. But with so many unanswered questions, the stakes have never been higher. Behind every discovery are the dedicated teams of scientists and engineers who make these missions possible. The Chandrahan team, these findings represent both triumph and a profound responsibility. The data coming back from the moon has challenged their preconceptions and sparkled debates across the scientific community. But for many, it's also a deeply personal reminding of humanity's shared quest for knowledge. These discoveries on the moon inspire not just the current generation of researchers, but also the dreamers of tomorrow, ensuring that the spirit of exploration endures. The Chandrahan mission has proven to be more than just a national achievement for India. Its groundbreaking discoveries have highlighted the importance of global cooperation in unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos and the moon and the universe beyond. The potential implications of these findings have prompted discussions about collaborative missions to the moon's south pole. Sharing technology, data, and expertise could accelerate our ability to explore and understand these enigmatic structures. As nations unite in pursuit of knowledge, the Chandrahan serves as a testament to what humanity can achieve when working together towards a common goal. While the moon is often thought as a static, barren world, its history is far more dynamic than it appears. The South Pole, in particular, holds clues to events that shaped both the moon and the Earth billions of years ago. The unusual findings for the Chandrahan compel scientists to re-examine the lunar history. Could the structures and magnetic anomalies be remnants of a time when the moon was geologically active? Or might they indicate an interaction with external forces, natural or otherwise? By piecing together these clues, scientists hope to unlock a more comprehensive understanding of the moon's past and its interconnectedness with our planet. One of the most tantalizing possibilities raised by the Chandrahan discoveries is the potential for subsurface life. While the moon's surface is inhospitable, the underground cavities and thermal anomalies suggest conditions that might support microbial ecosystems. On Earth, life has been found in environments once thought to be uninhabitable. Could these organisms exist beneath the lunar surface, shielding from radiation and sustained by the geothermal heat or chemical energy? While the idea may seem far-fetched, scientists are eager to develop instruments capable of probing these underground regions. If life exists on the moon, it could redefine our understanding of whether life can thrive in the universe. These findings from Chandrahan are only the beginning. With the Artemis program, upcoming robotic missions and ambitious plans for lunar colonization, the moon is poised to become a focal point for scientific discovery and human exploration. The data from the Chandrahan will shape the design and goal for these missions, ensuring that future explorers are prepared to tackle the moon's many mysteries. From the hidden structures to the unexplained heat signatures, the next steps will require innovative technology and daring exploration. As humanity prepares to return to the moon, the discoveries of the Chandrahan reminds us of the challenges and rewards that lie ahead. The moon is no longer just a destination, it is a gateway to understanding our place in the cosmos. Chandrahan has not only marked a historic achievement for India, but also revealed a side of the moon 
that challenges our understanding of the cosmos. From mysterious underground structures to signals and magnetic anomalies, these discoveries have opened doors to questions we never thought to ask. The moon, one thought to be a barren, lifeless rock, now stands as a key to unraveling the mysteries of our universe. Its secrets reminds us that even the closest celestial body to Earth still holds surprises that could reshape our understanding of life, science, and existence itself. As humanity looks to the star, Chandrahan serves as a beacon of what is possible when innovation and curiosity drive exploration. Its findings not only redefine the moon, but also ignite the imaginations of dreamers and explorers across the globe. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this.